That's a lot of water. Hey, so one of the other things I've been messing around with in the, in the workshop is um, making these airplanes and then trying to fly them, more like crashing them. Um, but this is the, the idea from Flight Test. It's a channel on YouTube, definitely go check it out. It's absolutely amazing. Basically, using this foam board stuff, you make airplanes that have got full working ailerons, the actual air, aeroflow shape, you can see the servos in there. There's servos in there that control the back of this plane. And the rudder. Now when I see them, you know, flying, and these guys are incredible, but now I'm sort of thinking, hmm, can I do that? Let's try. This so, plane's gonna be sidelined for a little bit so I can break it later. So I made this F-22 and I took it out flying. The reason it's not completely in the shot is because it had an accident. Well, I crashed it straight into the ground. You can actually see the nose here. I just cut it off. Look at how much damage that is. It's incredible though how much, how much sort of impact absorption was in that nose. Because it came down from, it must have been like four stories straight up. And it came down like this. It was a straight up nose dive. It just went straight into the ground. So much so that the motor that was driving it actually tore away from the speed controller pulling the wires out like that and of course the prop broke but that you know broken 10,000 of those essentially what i'm looking to achieve with this is to see what exactly it takes for someone who's never flown before it's not like i flew when i was a kid and i've left alone for a few years this is a bicycle i've never learned to ride so exactly what does it take you know the effort how many planes can i crash i've already crashed a couple so i should probably add that to the tally so yeah, let's get it fixed up. See if we can get it back in the air. So what I did is I took the plans that you get from the flight test uh, website and I cut out a piece of foam board uh, and I keep this piece of foam board and I put down a new piece of foam board and trace it so that I don't have to do this every time. Okay, so a mild improvement on the nose that was. Now we can fit this to here.
what happens is the air hits that and pushes the back down, which then pushes the nose up. And then of course with the power, you can climb from there. Then pushing forward will make the nose go down. And you can see it does that. So when these go down, the air will hit them and kick the back up, which will then put the nose in a downward fashion. Now, if I wanted to change direction, so let's say right, what's gonna happen here is the right side is gonna go down because this has come up and the left side is gonna go up. So the, the plane does that and then I can pull back on the stick. So it's a bank and yank, I believe they call it. And all of this is incorporated into one. So if I've got full up and then I give steering, you can see it does, so if I hold right, you see that? And these are not moving big distances, but if you think the prop wash, because the prop is right here, it's coming straight here and from the bottom as well. So these surfaces are really strongly affected by that. Okay, I always have such an uneasy feeling before destroying one of these things. Okay, so a quick rehearsal. Just straight up like that. How long was that? It's already over. It was a really good flight though. <laughs> so I've just gotten it out of the ground. It was nosedive straight in. It was actually sticking out of the ground like an arrow. I'll show you because there's water flipping everywhere. It's getting all over the batteries. Let's just get out. And I have running shoes now completely drenched in wet socks and it's five degrees Celsius outside. It's so wet. Is that so? Let's hope it hasn't taken too much of a knock. Let's get that disconnected. It yeah, one server seems to be working. These things are amazingly robust. Those work. It is quite damaged though. It's actually very, very damaged. Two of the wires from the speed controller came out. All seems to be well. It's not perfect. Okay, well, what do I have left to lose, Ross? That's a lot of water. <clears throat> that is really not good. I need new socks. And I think I really need to dry this equipment off before it becomes faulty. Oh, my feet are freezing. Okay, let's get home, get warm, get repaired, and get back. Yeah, so 
that happened. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. But that flight was amazing. 